the founding of the Dung Wang Academy in 1944 ended centuries of abandonment of the grottos. Today, the Academy works to preserve and protect the site. Despite its desert location, Mogao experiences cold and snow in winter, and rain and sometimes floods in summer. Until the early 1990s, windblown sand from the dunes above the cliff face was a serious problem. In the 1990s, the Dong Wang Academy and the Getty Conservation Institute constructed a wind fence near the dunes to control sand. Vegetation windbreaks and straw grids were added to further mitigate sand movement. Sandstorms in the desert are inevitable, but windblown sand from the clifftop has greatly decreased. The Da Chuen River flows from the mountains and alongside the Mogao Grottoes. Throughout history, it has flooded. As a result, the lower level cave temples suffered loss at the base of their painted walls from flooding combined with sediment accumulation. Flood control measures in the 1980s reduced the impact of flooding. Still, flooding in 2011 and 2012, perhaps made worse by climate change, severely damaged the site's roads and bridges. Tourist numbers have increased greatly since the grottoes opened in 1979, reaching 1 million in 2014, 90% from China. Mass tourism has brought many new problems, including crowding and visitor discomfort from buildup of carbon dioxide in the caves. During periods of rain, opening cave doors allows humidity to enter the caves. This activates the salts in the walls, damaging the paintings. To protect the caves, the Getty Conservation Institute and the Dong Huang Academy work together to manage visitor numbers and limit humidity and carbon dioxide within the caves. The Dong Wang Academy has undertaken other visitor management measures. These include a new visitor center and the use of films, guided tours, and replica caves. Monitoring environmental conditions and security and reservation systems help to manage tourism. Together, these steps will ensure the survival of the site and its art. <laughs> 